Maybe. I don't know. Think. But I, 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 I wasn't there for the seating I, stuff. I was here for melee bracket, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, I'm here for melee and commentary. That's what I do. <laughs> tsunami expected to be here. Rage and Narwhal, according to seating, not expected to be here. So it's, it's might, it might have a little bit of an underdog boost, maybe. <laughs> I mean. Know. But Tsunami's not the type of person to give in to pressure. Like, oh, absolutely. I mean, he's, he's not going to be like, oh, wow, this guy's been, you know, he made it the winner's you know, semis. You know, he's upsetting people. What if I get upset? He's not going to take that. I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty composed. Um, I mean, you have to look at it from Tsunami's perspective, too. It's like he's been sitting sitting at the stream setup, just, like, climbing through bracket easy. He's like, I'm just as far into winners as he is. He, he Like, if you trust yourself enough, you're not going to get upset. Exactly, exactly. He's not. Because as soon as you get in your head and you start tripping up on that stuff, that's when your game just ends and you're done. Exactly. No, so confidence P already ready for that RDC trainer pick. PT. And he's going Piranha he's going Plant game plant. one. Okay. Now, I don't know Raging Narwhal as, mo as well as the Lynchburg people. Yeah. Um, but I have only seen his Piranha Plant for the last two days. Okay. But, how, how but I will attest and say it is not some flimsy I am going to... Tsunami forgot his tag. But I will say, Raging Narwhal's Piranha Plant isn't some, haha, -ha, I'm just gonna sandbag and pick Piranha Plant. Like, yeah. I think it, I think he actually puts time into the character. So, like, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Now, to what extent, we'll see. But. I I, th I think this will be an exci another exciting uh, win winner semifinal. I, I, I honestly don't really know how Piranha Plant would interact with each Pokemon. It's kind of weird. I don't weird. either. I'm curious. I mean, I'm thinking about Squirtle. I'm just like, obviously the combo game is there. Yeah. As for Ivysaur and Charizard, though, Piranha Plant doesn't die very early. Um, yeah, probably not. Uh, I feel like, and th this is just a guess, I feel like Raging Normal's best bet is to maybe try to rack up as much on Squirtle as he possibly can before well, he switches. Very difficult. It's going to be very difficult, be very difficult because Piranha Plant's, Piranha Plant's moves plus Squirtle being so tiny, I yeah. mean, it's going to make it harder than it sounds, like infinitely harder. And, I mean, it, it's evidenced by you know, what's going on now. I mean, he so, hasn't even been touched yet. It won't be too surprising if we see Tsunami sitting on Squirtle for a while. And oh, yeah. No. Match up the... no, and that's the thing with Tsunami compared to a lot of Pokemon trainers. A lot of Pokemon trainers follow the general guideline of Squirtle, rack up percent, IV, like, if you get, want to get, like, a kill throw or something, and then when you start getting, like, high percent, getting, like, rage, yeah. you go Zard. Or if you, like, want to live longer in general, you just go Zard. But this, this guy goes, oh, Squirtle for combos, uh, Squirtle for kills, and Squirtle to stay alive. Yeah, pretty much. That's just trust Squirtle. I mean, pretty much. I mean, he, he he just loves playing this Pokemon. And the thing is, the Squirtle is his best of the three. Yeah. But And the thing is, the other two aren't bad. They're also really good. It's just Very solid really proficient. jab reset for That jab smash. reset, obviously evidencing what I'm saying. Yeah. And he, he's... Very clear character confidence. Yeah, he's, he's told me he, he spends hours on it and just optimizing his Squirtle. And it's crazy. But, like, you know, I mean, well, I, have, I can't Having him. watched his Ivysaur and Charizard earlier, he knows the two characters pretty well as yeah, well. Yeah. But when you watch his Squirtle, it's just like, he you just, can tell he that's knows. Like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell that's, like, the, the go-to guy. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, and that's enough. Like, for, for Raging Solid Narwhal. Solid parry from the Patooie. Oh, that was a good parry. But, like, for Raging Narwhal, like, you have to be thinking, like, in his head, he's like, you know... Like, Piranha Plant, like, he got some moves that can kind of, you know, check people out a little early. Yeah. Like, if I can, like, catch him slipping on Squirtle, like, maybe that changes the whole type of game. Maybe he doesn't play Squirtle that much. That's very true. But so far, it's like, Tsunami hasn't really been giving him room to breathe. Switching to the Ivysaur here, trying to catch him with the down air, doesn't get it. That's a good F-Smash. Yeah. That F-Smash is so huge, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Tries to dare the up uh, snaps, good parry. It's a nair. Solid nair. Patui. And that Patui hitbox lingers a lot longer than most people think. Yeah. So, like, honestly, him harassing... Zard swap, up smash for the kill. Unfortunately, doesn't grab ledge with that up yeah. Man, like Already to switching to Ivysaur again. I'm intrigued by this. I am, too, I, I'm, I'm a little... Maybe bit... it's because he already has, like, 90% yeah, racked like, up. Yeah, it's a pretty safe swap. And he's just like, oh, okay, if I get, like, a Razor Leaf to up air, I mean, he's dead. Yeah. I mean, what's the point of playing Squirtle? But I mean, he can always go back afterwards once he's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's low enough percent. He's like, I'm not really too stressed about getting hit at this point. I think that's definitely helping as well. But so Raging Narwhal, throwing out these Patooies, keeping the, keeping the zone... Yeah, I was about to say, we've got Razor Leaf and Patooie zoning going on right now. Uh, talk didn't of, think I'd say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, really respecting Ivysaur's aerial game. Right, right. Uh, Narwhal is doing a good job of, like... Like, I feel like before, like, for, especially, like, at the beginning of Stock 1... He, just, he was just kind of like running in and getting like combo. Yeah. I feel like he's kind of taking it, it's his It's one time of those download times versus now. Ivy, 
Ivysaur is a pretty big character. For, oh, we can get to Tui. And next thing you know, to hit now. now so going Charizard. This is dangerous. He could die. Like, Tsunami really right is now. definitely feeling the pressure with this Charizard pick, really wanting to actually stay alive, following those guided lines in it, like you said. Mm -hmm. Solid back, back throw, throw for the kill. I honestly think DI going to Squirtle more. now since he's low percent. Going right to Squirtle, I think yeah. his game plan rack up some rack up like 70, 80 if possible. Yeah. Somebody's going off. But oh! He gets the extendy neck. Solid I don't know, I don't know down the name. Of the I don't know the name of the move. Who knows? <laughs> but extending neck. Ex That's what we're going to Extendy neck <laughs> taking stock two, and now this is an even game. Very Dead even game. Look, if you look, looked at me and told me from the start of this game that it would be like last stock, like even percent. <laughs> I, I would say you were lying. I'd say you were and, and we can't see the timer right now, so we have no idea how much longer you're in. My guess uh, is like four or so minutes. And that's like, the danger of Patui. Even if you hit plant out of that animation, the hitbox is active. Yeah. So once it falls, you have to avoid it. And now Dave, Tsunami is at 80. Narwhal's just patiently... No, Narwhal. He's alternating between yeah. these Patuis and Downbees, and he's just like... He's trusting his character right now. Right? He's yeah. like, I dare Charizard you looking to... looking for the side beat. I getting I, the SD off of it because he couldn't get the So hit either off. either one of two things. He absolutely wanted to just go for a hard read to reset his composure or he did not want that. Yeah. I if I and had to guess if I had to bet money, I'd probably say the second one. But, yeah. Um Tsunami is a play, he's composed, but he's a player that sometimes like if things start piling up, you know, like he starts getting hit with these patooies, these downbees, he has a big lead and then he loses it, and yeah. then, you know, he loses the game to an SD. Sometimes it can get in his head a little bit. Um, but Char not enough here. to the point where it makes him play too, you know, worse as a player. Like, yeah. he still plays the same. It's just in the back of his head, he's like, you know, I had that game. You know, what happened? Why did I get that input? Why am I dead? Why am I down again? So going back to the, the Piranha Plant versus Trainer again. And I, I will not be surprised if Tsunami starts favoring his heavier characters again, knowing that, like, I mean, Narwhal started to get the download on Squirtle a very good bit last set. Or in last this, round, rather. In this stage they are? Like, this is Tsunami's counter pick. The stage yeah. now works really good for Plant. Plant can get those up air for two combos, yeah. and the next thing you know, you're at, like, 80 already. Like, off, off rip, so. So, solid timing. Letting the Patui get reabsorbed by Piranha Plant before getting the grab. He just waited for that, it. That, that, that was really good patience, because yeah. he, he knew, like, if he hit him, like, he was just going to have to do the, the Brock coming back down. Yeah. Didn't want to take no unnecessary damage. I'm honestly really Solid impressed with Solid down Narwhal. tilt. Catching his upbeats. Oh. oh, man. And instead of, like... Forced to recover high. Instead of Impulse running off stage and trying to, like, get, like, a big punish, he just takes... He's just like, if you're gonna not, like, snap ledge, I'm just gonna take these free details. Like, there's no point in me to overextend. Yeah. So that's that's good on uh, Tsunami's part. 50 to 90. Gets another downbeat. Solid catch with Narwhal's the Narwhal's downbeats have been really good. Extending that. Looking for a kill. And now he's on Ivy. Tries to read a spot dodge. Solid jab from Narwhal trying to keep him away. Nice it's down air. there. Tui trying to hit. The, these players are both looking for kills. Solid back throw. Barely, barely living with out. Narwhal. Gets it. Solid catch with the dare. And, and one thing I'm trying to notice, Narwhal is going to have to start you know, snapping to ledge with these upbeats. He's starting oh, to get yeah. punished like every time he does not snap. Like er literally every single time he just gets punished. So... That's one thing he's going to have to keep in mind. Uh, Tsunami going Charizard. I'm really intrigued. So, my thing here oh, is... Oh, never mind. Okay, quick not. swap. <laughs> my logic would have been, it's like, okay, so Squirtle's... Well, like, he's, he's sitting at high percent oh, right now. And that's why. It's like extendy neck. You're, you're sitting at that high percentage. You kind of want to let yourself just, like, be heavy so that you're not dying to something like an extendy neck out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Going Charizard again. I'm guessing Goes that was an accidental... Squirtle. But you never know. And so what, what, what I kind of touched on last game when I was like, hey, you know, maybe if I'm raging Narwhal, I want to, like, rack up damage or Squirtle mad quick so he's not playing as much Squirtle. I think yeah. that's actually starting to happen. I think we've seen less and less Squirtle as this game in particular yeah. has gone on. And it nice catch with the down B. Throwing the Patui out. These Patuis dodging with it, but actually, he is hitting these. These are like shanks. This is, this is what I call efficient game. Yeah. He's not just throwing out hitboxes for the sake of hoping they'll hit because... I mean, he's actually... It, he has purpose behind all of these moves. Yeah. Like. Oh, nice parry. F-tilt. Poison uh, Cloud's in the wrong way. I think he wanted to set up a ledge trap. No, so what he did was... He, I think he missed it. He Poison Cloud and then Patui. Uh, oh! It, so it, so it, he it could... Was a stealth bomb. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> he, okay. He was a stealth bomb. He, he didn't want to be seen yeah. in the cloud. Right, exactly. I got, you, I, got you, I got you. That's actually really, really smart. Yeah. So that's something that like a lot of day one plants do is the... 
side B into extending that. Bro, okay, so because you never expect the charge because you can't see it in the cloud. He down beat point blank in Ivysaur's face and did not get punished. Yeah. I think that move is man safe. So down B is really really good here because you have the armor in it. So even though you're getting hit, if you, if you, you eat the damage, down, but you're you're gonna get hurt for it. And he gets that potential. And he's sitting in a high. He was sitting in high percent at the time. I mean, Narwhal's up now, so yeah. it's like. This is very, very impressive. I, f I feel like here, here's the situation where Tsunami's like, okay, we're about to be yes. into game game three, and I'm already almost down 0-2. Mm -hmm. This is where it's just like, am I about to get I upset too? Like you what? said, he normally doesn't think that way. What? This could, but he, commentator's curse. He, he gets the dare. The, the set the is dare. even now. And like, I, I know him. Like, in his head, he's, he's not already looking ahead to game three, but yeah. it might kind of be in the back of his head, like, you the, know, what kind of a... These the, parries. All those parries. Okay, oh, man. He, he got like four parries. Yeah. To be fair, it was like a rapid jab, and like his shield shrunk enough to the point where the pa parry zone was like bigger yeah. than it normally is. So like, but still, it was still him. Sweat. He, he, I mean, he didn't need any unnecessary rapid jab damage. Exactly. So, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really, I'm just trying to take in this plant game. It's not every day you see plant. No, this is a very, very high level plant. Clearly, knowing knowing this matchup surprisingly well. Because from what it sounds like, he doesn't play this character a lot. Mm -hmm. So this is a very surprising... Yeah, I was going to say, this isn't his yeah. main. Or at least the character that most people would associate him with. Well, I mean... Surprise mains. Th that's like yeah, the yeah, hypest yeah, yeah. thing. Is like He's sitting here and he's like... Plant gets slept on a lot. Yeah. Plant is a very, very solid character. And Tsunami's just taking the approach of, you're going to come to me, and I'm going to make you do something, and just punish you for it with these razor leaves. And it is, at this point, he's at, he's at a lower percent. So technically speaking, depending on how much time is left... Narwhal's really going to start feeling the pressure here. There's like two minutes left. Okay. So we're sitting at two minutes. Tsunami at this point, I, I would understand just like going for a timeout. Just like trying aside to from, keep the percent. Aside lead. from like bad DI or like a dare, yeah. like Pronifat's kind of heavy. I don't think a lot would just outright kill. Yeah. Um, and like, that's why the timeout seems like a very good strat here. Mm -hmm. Solid dodge. Oh. Back. That's a back, that huge back throw at like 120. That might have been bad DI. Yeah. yeah. Very possible. That that probably would have come close to killing anyway. He had like a little tiny bit of rage. But so we're sitting here. He one, probably could have lived. We're sitting here one one now. And I, you have to start wondering. I'm sorry. I have to, oh no, you're I, good. I but you have to start wondering if Narwhal in his head is starting to think about maybe switching. Like I mean, the yeah. plan has won him a game and almost won him two games. So like I wouldn't fault him for staying. No, okay, stay. so he's going to stay. I wonder what, you, what stage they went to. I don't know. Because Greninja has some really strong, like, counterpick stages. Yeah. I, I think this is, like, the mind game is, like, he's going to sort of milk him, get him used to the plant, and then possibly pull out the Greninja for the last couple. I said, I said, one more. One more. So we've got plant trainer on PS2. And Again, another very set. even feeling set stage between the Ridley and Rob. Mm. So this feels like I feel like it might be a little bit plant favorite, honestly. I mean, he does have those platforms to like yeah. shark with like down B, Tui, up smash, and stuff like that. But you know, trainer Squirtle still also having a lot of space for combos as well, considering how wide these platforms are apart, not having that third on the top. And, and just trainer as a whole just has like their whole toolkit. Like, I mean, yeah. on a stage like PS2, I mean, they're not like trainer doesn't really have a quote unquote bad stage. Yeah. At least from what I know. Ooh, a solid catch of the down air. And, and normal, Not super high percent. Tsunami's definitely got the download on the plane. He goes now. super high over ledge and then gets punished again. I, I don't yeah. know if these up these are intentional that way. Or I, I mean I don't know. I mean H hard to say at this point. But good job on Tsunami capitalizing on these, not letting, you know, any stocks ride for free. Exactly. And it looks like Normal's kinda like trying to like back up a bit, trying to like think. Like, I think yeah. I think what's happening is Tsunami is making like little small adjustments yeah. like at a super fast rate, and Narwhal's like I don't think he's able to take it all in at one time and try to figure out like a counter like a game plan. Rather. Definitely. Because you see now, like Tsunami's not really forcing the action, like if he doesn't have to. I mean, he in this position he doesn't have to. Yeah. Like he knows that, so he's just I mean, he's, he's kind of racking up percent. He's like, taking it as it comes. Yeah. So right now we just kind of have some, you know, they're just kind of feeling each other out in neutral a little bit. Yeah.
gets the poison cloud on deck. I wonder. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't hide in it. He hops straight over it. I wonder if he thought maybe so tossing out the material to possibly zone him out. Gets goes straight around ledge through again. the down air. He doesn't get punished because Davis. Yeah. Was, I mean, tsunami. Solid was, back throw from the, tsunami here. It's a little too quick on his uh, down air. Yeah. So he kind of got away for free on that one. So, solid. I think the Charizard is a solid pick here, getting those early kills. Nice so job with the he's throw. Sitting a, at 100% now. He's doing a really good job. I don't know if he's making his DI or what, but these kill throws are really coming at really good times. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, he just kind of did the thing where he just, like, dash dance, like, in his face. And he was just like, yeah. hit a button, do something, I dare you. And yeah. he didn't do anything, and he died for it. So. Exactly. And that's the thing, too, is, like, you, he's up two socks now is like you have to start respecting what he's doing oh yeah I think the Ivysaur pick Ooh. here is a lot better than the Squirtle because the Squirtle though has a very solid combo game on Plant Plant can get some very early kills on Squirtle as well oh yeah and oh, I yeah. feel like Ivysaur is a much safer pick for the zoning with the Razor Leaf yeah I was gonna say I feel like between between Razor Leaf and then like Ooh, back solid throw catch. up air dare I From feel like Flare Blitz with an off smash yeah that was good smash. um I feel like Ivy might overall do better than Squirtle, yeah. but it might just be a thing where Tsunami's just like, hey, you know, I, you know, I know my character better than you know my character. I'll just, yeah. I'll play it the way I see fit. Just the jab Solid block. jab to F smash. It is almost. It's best it's of five. It's best of five. <laughs> this, is, this is winter semis. It's best of five. Top eight is best of five. Yeah. Like, Tsunami had a little fist bump pop off. Nothing too dramatic. Thought it was best of three. Now it's best of five. What do you mean? What do you mean? I did the fist bump. You said you're going to lose. Don't speak it into existence. I got that. that is my best no, advice for you. Out of voice. You both have this. All right. No, I don't. So now it's best of three. It's, speak it into existence. It's, okay. it's best of five. So oh. spear pit pillar. Interesting pick. So now it seems like... Tsunami wasn't aware of that. I'm, I think no. I think Narwhal was. Yeah. Um, so now you have to think, adding the fifth game or the fourth. Obviously, game, you were aware because you just played in Winter Semis earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> you're on you're on it already. But um, now that the fourth game is universally known to everybody involved, yeah. um, you have to wonder: Is Narwhal going to switch? Is Tsunami I I, switch? I have a feeling that since Narwhal knew it was going to be a best of five, I think he went plant first to throw him off, and I think he might actually go for the Greninja here. And he that's for Ninja. Yeah. All right, all right. They refist bump and everything. Tsunami was he's, so he's taken He's re-engaged now. We're going to see if Tsunami can bring this back. No. Town and city. Narwhal switching to Greninja. Baby is still on trainer. Um, I don't know if this is a really good Greninja stage. I'm not sure. But Greninja I mean, in general, that if, dash attack, godlike. Yeah. That fair, I, I godlike. have a feeling that, like, just because it's a small enough stage where, like, he can definitely get in your face. And, I mean, Squirtle isn't too hard to combo with a light character like Greninja moving very fast. Just getting the damage on him quickly. As you can see, already at 70%. Only taking 9 so far. He's using those neutral pokes, like D-Tilt and Dash Attack in particular. Yeah. They just, they're such good burst options. They just open And this as well as, so like... I mean, Tsunami's been used to playing against a plan already. So all of a sudden, you're having a character that's very rush-heavy play against you, and you're just like, okay, I have to adapt my playstyle. On top you, of you thinking the set it. was over. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't do that right away just mentally. It's very hard to do. Oof. 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 He Still went for it. He died for it. Oh, and Charizard dies for it, too. He, he really, really, really wanted that kill. Yeah. It might have been like a mental thing. The, the commit was worth it at this point. The socks are still kind of even. Greninja was up by a lot of percent, so I think that risk was worth it for him. I, I one thing I want to point out, Squirtle was at like one ten. Like yeah. it seems Tsunami was really committed to staying Squirtle. I don't know if it's like a Greninja thing or like a know. comfortability thing. I mean, obviously we know it's his favorite of the three. Oh, definitely. I, I figured once he started hitting like 70, 80, I, 80, I feel like this is another situation though where it's like you want fast combo characters against each other. Because, like, when you have, like, a Sheik versus Joker match or something like that, the matchup seems very even because both characters are so fast you can respond quick. Yeah. Versus, like, if you take a character like Greninja and put it against, like, a Charizard, mm -hmm. that's free combo oh, yeah, food yeah. for the combo fast food, character. Combo food all day. So I can definitely respect choosing to take the Squirtle in this situation so that it's a little bit more even in your case. 
and Norwalk got a dash attack, tried to like follow up, and Davius like frame one switched right through it. Yeah. That's really uh, good on his part, knowing that hey, I don't have to eat this damage because I have a frame one get off me button. <laughs> exactly. So really good on his so part. So keeping a very even percent lead, a little bit with Tsunami, but overall nothing too crazy. Sitting on Charizard. A little bit surprised. Tsunami hasn't really had anything to get combos starting off with, though. Yeah, he hasn't Tsunami's really... Tsunami's just kind of keeping them spaced out with just some solid hits here and there. Oh, Nair Ooh. Flare Blitz. Nair Flare Blitz, solid for the kill. They buffed that Nair for what seems like no reason. Yeah. It was already good. They made it better. And now it puts you in a tech chase situation. And if you do one of, like, four things, I think Tsunami said, you just die. Yeah. So good on him for recognizing the situation he put in. Oh! Ooh, solid water shuriken the side shot. B, but he still had his jump, so it didn't matter. Ooh, switching back to Ivysaur here. And I think he's looking for just some sol himself. solid kills. Yeah. Yeah, he's starting. He's starting to take. Them. At, at at this point, it's like you you got to feel for Narwhal here. So he's definitely feeling the pressure. Oh yeah. Over at least. I mean, he's just he's just like not too long ago, it was like somewhat even. What happened? Yeah. yeah. He just, I, think, he just I, think, I think he took the ear pot. Yeah, I was gonna say he definitely just I, took. I think I think he's trying to focus in. I, I'm not going to say this deficit is insurmountable because it definitely isn't, but it's you have to deal with rough. Pokemon Trainer with two whole stocks. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean it's kind of he, he can take this stock here and still definitely even it out. Oh, Solid F smash. The F smash. And but th this, this is where it gets hard. Is like Squirtle can't necessarily get kills very easily at 95, so solid swap to Ivysaur here. But the, the oh. issue comes in. Greninja can combo Ivysaur and Charizard very easily. Yeah, and so it, it's sort of that trade-off where it's like, I honestly think Squirtle might have been the better pick here and try and play the combo game with him. In situations like these, you, you like when you're about to like you're you're down in the set, like you lose this game, you lose yeah. the set, like you're on your main. Like this is where you have to show how in depth you know your main, what makes them good. Yeah. Like you have to really exploit what what they're good at. Forty four percent easy up smash pick with the Charizard getting the kill on Raging Narwhal. I, I didn't think that was Tsunami yeah. winning the set even though he popped off early. He won the early. set twice. Won the set twice. Um overall very, very fun set to watch. Not gonna lie, really impressed with Narwhal. Yeah. Uh almost went up 2-0 with Piranha Plant. And just, just think about how different that could have been. He lost that game. He lost that game, too. He was at, like, 130. Tsunami was at, like, 90. Just imagine how different that set could have been if he didn't oh, die. Yeah. You know, if he clutches that game, the Tsunami switch characters. Who would you have gone? We both know. Who yo, we yo, Tsunami, gone. come come in here. Let's have a post-winter semis interview. Right, come, let's come here. Come let's here. here. What's up? What's up? Come around. Come around. Come around. Get in the camera. Come, come join the camera, my camera? friend. Come, yeah, we got, a, we, got, we got a one camera guy. Oh, true? Oh, rich, rich. All right, so, so post that interview. All right. So let, let, let's say you lost that game just now. The and game two or this one right here? Yeah. Oh, let, let, let's say it was 2-2. What were you about to do? Go on you man. were going to go Little Man. You were yes. going to go Little Man. Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, we played Dirk. Okay. Um, want to just do it here. Okay. Mm. All right. So I, I, I get another hype set. Let's go. <laughs> hype set alert. Is it? Seems like... Tsunami's never really taken a break from this stream setup. As far as I know, this is winner's finals, actually, right now. Yep. So we got... 